I know, I know. You upset, right? After you done just put, you know, all this effort, all this time, and all these years into a man just to find out that he cheated on you. And not only did he cheat on you, but he cheated on you with a chick that don't even look better than you. I'm explaining why he cheated on you. And not only I'm explaining why, I'm gonna tell you what you need to fix. Drop the intro. <laughs> Appreciate you guys for tapping in once again, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Man, we're on our way to 100 subscribers, man. No, that's not the goal, but, you know, that's the... That's one of the plans that we had when we first started the platform. So make sure you guys do that for me. Listen, listen, I know some of y'all women ain't gonna want to hear this, but last week we jumped on the fellas. We talked about things that they needed to upgrade and they need to, you know, they need to fix. Now it's time to, you know, talk on y'all ladies. Time to elaborate. And you know, you know, probably fix some of y'all relationships. But, you know, um, you just found out that this man that you've been you know, in love with, or you married to, just cheated on you with a chick that ain't got nothing on you. And yeah, y'all might be different far as though when it comes to looks. Like, damn, how could he ever cheat on me with her? I'm gonna tell you why he cheated on you. Because you lost sight of, you know, um, the things you once did when you first met him. See, you, you, you based on, you know, um, you based the relationship on, you know, looks, your body, all the things that open up, you know, avenue to, you know, for, for men to want you. But what about, you know, showing a little bit of appreciation to that man that had been in your life for so long? What about, you know, giving a nice hot, you know, prep meal, rubbing his feet, you know, whining and dining him. It'd be nice to, you know, spend some time with your lady and go out here and there and, and offer the tab up. But then, why can I get, you know, treated out for once? It'd be nice to keep my money in my pocket. Oh, but you so pretty, you feel like any dude want, you know, do it, any and everything for you. Nah, see the side chick, she ain't, she ain't, she ain't even on that type of time. She showing him appreciation. She keeping the mills coming. She rubbing him down. You know what I mean? She's really showing you know, that that appreciation that some men, you know, be wanting. And regardless if we married or we in a relationship, it's just the simple things that, you know, some women, you know, just stop doing. All I'm saying is, if he looking at you as his wife or his girlfriend, you know what I mean? You know, you basically his number one draft pick. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be no room for him to be seeking, you know, attention from somewhere else. You were supposed to be his number one draft pick, meaning you got all the talent, you got the look, you, you I mean, you can hold a household down, you know how to put it down sexually, you know what I mean, you got a hustler spirit, you know how to go out and get your own money, you ain't waiting for him, you know, to bring in some money. Now that's the number one draft pick, you know, talent out this, out this world. But you, you just sitting back and you making it easier for the side chick because you got complacent. You just stop doing the things you once did, you know, when you first met him. So some of y'all get looked at as, you know, some unrestricted or second round draft picks. Because now he putting all his talents, you know, to his, his side chick. And now the side chick playing, the, you know, she's playing the number one draft pick. It shouldn't be like that. You know, some of y'all women want the, 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 uh, the relationship title, but y'all don't want to put it in the work. And I know some of y'all like, damn, like, I gave him all that. I gave him, you know, good sex. I gave him, you know, I, I respected him as a king. You know, I, I, you know, I let him have his space. I did everything, you know, a woman could do. And if he's still cheating on you, then that's a dog. Eventually, he'll wake up and he'll get into a relationship. Whereas, though, when he, you know, going to his next journey, he going to realize that, you know, what you gave him, Versus what that girl is giving him now, it ain't the same. 
it ain't the same. And that should make you feel better. Like, damn, you know, I did, you know, I gave this man 110%. So, you know, he still cheated on me? Never mind that. Because then he going to be calling you and you going to be getting that, you know, that, that block number. Whereas though he going to be begging to want you back. Because he realized that, you know, what you offered, that number one draft pick type style, ain't what he getting right now. Realize, listen, if you feel like you can't, you know, learn nothing from this message, then, you know, don't let it apply to your life. You know, I, I may not say, you know, all the right things, but, you know, as a man, I know, you know, what us men want. And, you know, you probably basing your lifestyle on your looks in your body. That's cool. But we in a new, you know, we in a new era, ladies. You know, it's competition everywhere for y'all. You know, y'all always going to outnumber us men. I mean, what else can you bring to the table? You know, you got to open up another avenue. You got to put a little bit more tools in your toolbox. You got to have a creative mind to keep this man in your life. And if you're not creative, and if you, you're not the type of the chick that want to learn, then, I mean, you're going to steady be in this depressing mind state of, you know, men ain't shit. I mean, when is it going to be your turn to learn? And when when is it going to be your turn to, you know, start doing the right things? When is it going to be your fault? Because I'm tired of hearing it's, it's men, it's men, it's men. Because... The chick that looked like the six, she ain't, she ain't even on that type of time. She doing everything she can to win this man over. Meanwhile, you don't even understand the gym you got. So, you know, like I said, if it don't apply, let it fly. But if you're in a, if you're in a, a situation where you, you want to keep your marriage going, keep your relationship fresh, Keep up with the things you once did. And it's hard, but, you know, try to, you know, switch something up. You know, try to, you know, switch the, the uh, your imaginations up. Y'all women got imaginations out this world. Y'all know how to be creative when y'all want to be. I appreciate you guys. That was my little small message for you guys. But you know how it is. Each one, teach one. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Peace. Like, say, subscribe, do it, 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 do it,